Welcome to the first episode of Shockwave Frequency. We have a great lineup for you tonight, including an AIWF East Coast title match in our main event, where Jack Tatum will try to become champion once again as he goes up against the current champion, Vinny Vane. In tonight's opening contest, it will be a semi-final match in the SWE Tag Team Tournament between the Sons of Rebellion and Team High Five. The winner of this match will go on to face either the Golden Pinky Society or the team of Scotty Matthews and Matt Maven for the SWE Tag Team Championships. Let's take it over to Max Maxwell, who's standing by with the Sons of Rebellion. Ladies and gentlemen, Max Maxwell back here again at the Shockwave Wrestling Arena. And it's my pleasure to introduce to you James Harris and Rex Keller. Together they are the Sons of Rebellion. What kind of introduction is that? I was just... Yeah, let me see this coaches. I want everybody to know, all the fans, tonight we are here to make a statement. This is our debut show with Shockwave and we intend to make an impact. So to our opponents tonight, be on the lookout because tonight you have to deal with James Harris and Rex Keller. This is the night you will remember for a lifetime. And having our lovely trying to do one job and then concentrate on the other. Now, if I'm not mistaken, it looks like Timothy Jones has gotten his hair cut. Yeah, I think so. And actually, once again, he's powered to the ground. Tries to go for a nice forearm. However, it's not met with a great perception. Come on, she's just running into the deep step back about two steps back. Oh, a kick to the... Only a two count. That was actually really surprising there to see Timothy Jones kick out of that one. The size and the speed of the other man just happened into a tag there. This might end up really bad. Yes. Both men in the ring against this tiny little man. But I gotta give it to Timothy Jones. He is a fighter if I have ever seen one. He can take a lot more brute force than many, many people. That was a very uh, huge clothesline there yes. to Timothy. I think all that momentum is finally out of Timothy Jones there. It looks like the lights are out for him right now. Oh my. This is not a good situation for Team High Five. All of Tina does not look happy. No, but right now it looks like Ollie has all the momentum. It looks like Timothy Jones is now striking back oh, and doing a comeback here. Getting the, getting the crowd behind him is all that he needed. Oh, a flying forearm. Into a tag there. Ali Primo, who has not yet been hit or anything. Nice. A good forearm. A boot to another boot to the stomach. One Ollie to Rex, I believe. I think the one in black is Rex and then the... Well, the one with nothing on their shirt in black yes. would be Rex. Yes, and then the striped tights with James. Um, and it looks like James took these shots, maybe, maybe diminished him just a little bit, but he can just use his size advantage and power Kicks to the thighs, forearms, forearms, and oh, oh, he ducks, he ducks, oh no, goes to the cross body, caught. Oh, 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 lands right on his back, 
teach it. Rex just swings Ollie down to the ground. Come on, Ollie. That seems to be a uh, theme, just throwing people on the ground. I, I believe so, hands. but with the size no difference no between them suit. with No proper suplex, fight. just right. just throwing, just a, a big old heat. But with the size difference between the team yeah. versus team height versus a uh, team of the Sons of Rebellion versus Team High Five. It really well, not it, it much to throw. It's it just like throwing a pebble for us. It's like throwing a pebble, yeah, maybe. He's got big dudes. Oh, and Ollie's getting choked on the ropes. Come on, man. The referee needs to get a hold of this. Yes, he really needs to control this match. Make sure it's fair because they already have such a big size difference. Yes. That is a real, real factor in this. In this. Uh, oh, I think I believe that is the first real suplex yes. so far in this match. In this match, and it looks like Ollie's lights are out. That was a huge, huge suplex. Oh! Timothy Jones gets smashed in the face by James. He's just kicking. He's just kicking Ollie's back repeatedly. Now we're seeing how James goalie. is. What oh, James what is, is doing, doing right now. Hand? Oh! I think he's trying to break his fingers. And if you break Ollie's fingers, um, that cuts out his ring work there because yes. it goes as an injury. Yes. Because you need your hands to do a lot of this work. Just like even running the ropes, like holding onto the ropes, making sure you're stable is like so yes. important in this sport. Oh, oh, elbows to the temple. Congrats. Ollie has been in this match for way too long. He really, really needs get this tag. And those elbows there, they were just straight elbows. There's no padding no on padding, his elbows. Yes. That's a straight elbow straight to the temple there. Well, I mean, there may be a little bit of padding. I mean, let's be real, he's a, he's a little heavy man. That is true. But I still would really hate to get knocked in the head by uh, got? It looks like the Sons of Rebellion know what they're doing and know what they need to be doing in this match. Just keeping the two high five. Separated. Yes. It looks like. Oh, it's a tag, tag. Timothy Jones. Oh! oh okay. Beautiful energy. He actually got him down. A beautiful, beautiful energy. He's just manhandling the thing Timothy, now. I think Not this Timothy. Timothy Jones is an opportunity here. Oh! 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 Yeah, but that was really surprising was to come and see from Timothy Jones there. Yes. The abuse and everything oh. that Timothy went through to see that right there. Yes. That is a complete game changer there. Oh, but it looks like Rex is fighting up. Timothy doing everything he can to keep him down on the ground because he knows he can he can assault him down there and, and keep him down. Not assault in, in a bad way, but you know, right. you know what I mean. And if Timothy Jones can keep him actually down, might give him the opportunity exactly. to actually win. Exactly. And that would be a big thing for Team High Five because then that means that they would advance to the next level. Oh, four arms to the side of the head. Yes, it would advance them to the next level of the tag team tournament. And that's something I think they would really benefit from. Just, yes. Uh, any increase in rank at this point. Um, they're both slow to get up. Both slow to get up. Because if it is that Team High Five does win, uh -huh. that means they go to the very final. And then our next match that we would have up would be the Golden Kinky Society versus Matt Maven and Scotty Matthews. So they would have to go against Matt Maven and Scotty Matthews or the Pinky Society. Which everyone wins that match. That's who Team High Five would go against if they would win. Yes. Oh, and the way that this match has been going, we might actually see that happen. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my! Did you hear the crowd just a minute ago? They were yes, fully behind Team High Five. Once again, the fan favorites in this match. I, don't, I think the Sons of Rebellion are kind of they're losing energy because they don't have. Yes. Oh, and here comes the hot tag! Oh, oh, nice oh, 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 yes. From Ollie, big forearms from the pointy elbows of Ollie. Oh, using his, his size to his advantage. He's really using his speed there. He's 
Yes! Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Chokes me! Oh! Cover! Two! Three! Well, that took a turn. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners of the match. The Sons of Rebellion! So ladies and gentlemen, what that means is the Sons of Rebellion move to the finals of our tournament. And it's the next people that we have, the next tag team, uh, round two that we have, will be the Pinky Society, but the Matt Maven and Scotty Matthews. And whichever one, whoever team wins that one, will go against the Sons of JC's Digital Consulting LLC, Digital Savvy Inc., and Screw, Mr. Bale, your local bail bond agent, and Leonard Truck and Building Accessories. Minivan has a little more weight than Jack does, but maybe. I think they're the same height there. It looks like, yes, maybe Jack. Minnie is a little bit older, however, so yes. that does. Jack may be more spry, more, you know, light on his feet. If I'm correct, Jackson is 20s, right? Yes, he's 25. Okay. Or no, he's 24, my bad. 24? <laughs> his birthday's in May. May 1st, if anybody wants to get him a birthday present. First is Vinny Vane, I believe. I, I have no. I'm idea. not gonna say age because I don't want to. I, I'm. I don't want to. He'll come after us. Yes. He'll come after us. I'm. I'm good. That the brass knuckles can stay in ring, and whoever he chooses not yes, to. Yes, so The brass knuckles can stay away from this oath. Oh, head toss. To his back. Vinny getting cocky. Oh, he's Jack mimicking him. If I'm correct, Jack on, was baby. trained with an actual professional schooling, right? Yes, he was uh, trained under Curtis Hughes at WWA4 in Atlanta, Georgia. Did you hear what I said? Yes, I did. Uh, yes, and he spent two years training down there. Uh, met a lot of a lot of people. He's... Oh, 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 this does not look good. He's just, then he is definitely using his size advantage to Jack's back. Yes, sir! Well, my time, babe! 
sorry. I'm, I'm being loud. I just <laughs> well, at least you're cheering for the man because it sounds like everyone else is a little bit of a tweener right now. Yeah, yeah, I agree. You have half the people for Vinny and half for Jack. So yes, even though he's quite the cheater, Vinny, I will give it to Vinny. He's he's an over with the fans. Another lock up. Jack pushing him to the corner. Oh, oh, oh. 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 The muscle there for the yes, sir. A body slam! Giving him no. the same moves no, with the, that he just that Vinny gave him. Yes, with it the agility that uh, Jack Tatum just showed, this match might take a turn here. Yes, absolutely. We might be crowning a new East Coast A returning AIWS yes. East Coast champion. How those feel due to refing training there. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Those suck. Yes, absolutely. And if they're hit wrong, yes. that's near your heart. That can oh, lead to a oh, lot I, of oh, heart I, problems and things like that. Oh, oh I why the back, back there? Jack Tatum. In there, yes. Jack Tatum had nowhere to move to. Yes, sandwiched in between the uh, ring post. Oh! Clawing at the eyes of Jack Tatum, both of them just slogging it out back there. A nice know. knee to the oh. Uh, I think Vinny Bates trying to keep as much as he can outside of the ring. Yes. He's been playing with the referee here by going in and then going out. Yes. Jack's forearms, I gotta tell you, they they are not nice. Um, I've watched them enough times to know. That they they will knock the stars out of your head. I promise. Oh, Jackson Vinny into the turnbuckle. A nice featured knee. Oh, just a, v, a knee. Oh, Vinny on the ground. Looks Can like see a high a high risk maneuver here. You know what they say? Is it high risk or high high reward, or is it gonna be high risk? No reward. Wow! Oh, oh, that is the cover. Only a two count. Jack does not know what to do. And he has a large handprint from that chop on his back. Oh my goodness. This is a slugger slugger knocker. Four four arms to the back of Benny. Sending Jack's head into the turnbuckle. Ladies and gentlemen. All right. Sorry, I had some technical stuff to deal with. A big boot to the stomach of Jack and an uppercut right in the chin jawline of Jack Tatum. Oh, and it looks like Benny is setting up for something. Oh no. Oh Ladies no, and is this a fisherman? A fisherman suplex? Oh no. Oh no. Jack looks like he's oh! Oh! oh Only a two count oh, there. Two count. He thought, really? Oh! Super kick right to the face of Jack Tatum. Oh, Ladies no. and gentlemen, I just got informed that our referee, JD, is the only referee tonight. The only ref? Well, so, he's working overtime. I I guess so. Now, I'm, I'm going to yes. hate to see the later on the he okay? here. Did he mess up Jack's face? I, I, I'm I going after Vinny Bain if he has broken Jack's jaw. I'm going to kill him. Big punches to the butt of Jack Tatum. Right to his eyes. You might be going home to a boyfriend I can't see. Oh, God. Oh, arm to the back of his neck. Sam 
Samson is Samson is intensely watching this match. He knows he knows who his daddy is. Oh, oh, oh! Jack is on the ground. He's been what, what's that called? I believe that it was was the shoulder block. I believe. Yeah, we'll call it a shoulder block. We'll do that. <laughs> <laughs> a big cut, a slogger to Jack's middle. Oh my goodness, this is quite the match. Oh, oh! That breaker. Both men down. Here's our double down. Jack. Come on, Jack! Come on, Jack! Come on, Jack! Come on! Come on, Jack! 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 Come on, out to the side of the ring, escaping Benny Bain, but not for long, it seems. Oh no! Kicks the... Jack was climbing into the ring, and Benny goes and kicks the rope. Right into the groin. Yes, right into the, we'll say groin of groin Jack. Groin is, is the medical technology, yes. we can't yes. get in trouble for that. Yes, <laughs> of Jack. Looks like he's in some pain. Oh! oh. Ah! Ah! And this is not the first time with Jack in the counters of yes, the steps. Yes, he's Last time it was really with Malcolm Dark, right? Counters with the steps. Yes, I'm really worried about him right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, that was a big, big. Oh, Jack. Oh, Jack. He's be careful. Oh, my goodness. Oh, did you hear that noise? Did you hear that noise? I did. That sounds like it was right on the dome of his head. Oh, my gosh. And those steps are solid steel. Yes, they are. The referee has caught Vinny Bain oh, with the brass using knuckles. Using the brass knuckles, trying to get him away from Vinny. Jack is recuperating over his, from his... Oh, he's getting something from the bottom of the ring. Oh, there goes Corey. Retrieving the brass knuckles. Running like a champ. Yes, sir, Corey. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh! Jack just got hit by a street sign. Oh, my gosh. Hey, ring the bell. I don't know. I don't know. Jack looks like he's out on his feet. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Looks like he can barely get up. Oh my, oh, I'm very worried. Oh no, oh no! Oh, this no. might be the end of this match, oh. ladies and gentlemen. Oh! 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 oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Vinny Vane keeps the title there. But yet, he still had to use. Several different tactics. Yes. Several different objects in beating Jack. He could not beat him. My question is, I want to know how Vinny Bay got the screen sign in here. Yeah. Why was he under the ring? Ladies and gentlemen, an upbeat tournament. It's the Golden Pinky Society versus Scotty Matthews and Matt Maven. Make sure Jack is okay. Yeah. Turn it up, you Yeah. I heard you. I heard you loud clear. You were a good champ. And as far as being a maniac, you just wrestled the Mid-Atlantic Maniac. Now get your butt in the back, loser. Yeah. Good. I won't apologize much. I was a little hard on you last year. Matt Maven sent you out here with half the information. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to give you another chance to ask me some questions. So before you get started, let me help you. Former Shockwave heavyweight champion. Former two-time Shockwave tag team champion. And now the AIWF East Coast champion. And don't forget, there's that other little company with the three letters, you know what I'm talking about. Where I was the longest reigning North Carolina champion ever. So now that you got your back straight about championships, Coming to the West Coast, I don't care how many title defenses you have. I don't care how many days straight you've been champion. I don't care how many airports you've slept in. You haven't gotten in the ring with me. And when you do, you won't be champion anymore. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Tune in next week where we'll have the Golden Pinky Society going up against the team of Scotty Matthews and Matt Maven. The winner of that match will be fighting the Sons of Rebellion for the SWE Tag Team Championships. And in the main event, Brock Richards will defend his Livewire Championship against Jake Hollister. This has been Shockwave Frequency.